AITA for cheating on my wife and leaving her? This is long. I, 34M, have been married to my wife, 33F, for 8 years. It feels strange to say that, like I've been living in a fog for almost a decade. We have a 6-year-old daughter who's the only bright spot in my life, but my marriage has been a nightmare. I've tried to hide it, to convince myself it wasn't that bad, but the truth is my wife is abusive. She's taller and stronger than me, I'm a short, thin guy, always have been. And she knows how to use that against me. She's hit me before, more times than I'd like to admit. Once, she even choked me when we got into an argument about her cheating. I'll never forget the cold, controlled look in her eyes as her hands tightened around my throat. She didn't stop until I passed out. And the cheating? God, I've lost count of how many times she's been with other men. Seven, at least. Each time, I'd find out, and I'd try to leave. But every time, her parents would step in, especially her mother. My MIL, who lives with us, has this iron grip on everything. She'd offer me money or some other bribe, guilt trip me about our daughter, or straight up pressure me to stay. And I'd cave, over and over again, because what other choice did I have? The thing is, my wife didn't even care about our daughter. She practically abandoned her after she was born, leaving me to raise her alone. She was checked out of everything, parenting, our marriage, my life. Then, a few months ago, I did something that I know was wrong. I started seeing someone else. I never planned on cheating, but it just happened. The woman I was seeing wasn't like my wife. She was kind to me for no reason. She wasn't being nice to make up for hitting me, or because she wanted something. She just, cared. She'd ask how I was doing, touch my arm softly, smile at me, and look at me like I mattered. It felt good. It felt amazing to have someone care about me without an ulterior motive. My wife's affection always came with strings attached. After she hit me, she'd be all over me, apologizing, trying to make it up to me. Of course, nothing stays hidden forever. One day, I came home when everyone was supposed to be out, so I started talking with the woman I was cheating with. Turns out, my MIL got sick at work and came home early. She overheard me on the phone with her. I don't even know how long she was listening, but when she came into the room, she was furious. She screamed at me for hours. I didn't even know she was capable of yelling like that. She backed me into a corner, calling me every name in the book, telling me I was a disgrace and a cheater, but the thing that stuck with me the most was her telling me my wife would kill me if she found out. And the worst part? She wasn't exaggerating. I've seen my wife's temper, and I knew exactly what she was capable of. My MIL gave me no choice. She forced me to lie. I couldn't tell my wife the real reason I was leaving because it would have ended badly, so I told her I didn't love her anymore and that I was done. I packed up my daughter, left, and moved in with my mom. To make things worse, the woman I was seeing ended things too. She was married, and her husband found out. After that, she cut me off completely. I get it, but it left me feeling even more alone. I didn't just lose my marriage, I lost the one person who made me feel like a human being. Now I'm living with my mom, trying to be there for my daughter, but I feel miserable. I know I was wrong for cheating, and I hate myself for it. But part of me wonders if I ever would have had the strength to leave without it. After years of feeling like nothing, I was finally happy, but now everything's going to shit again.